Nak felt a sense of accomplishment as he handed over the Dust King for the bounty. With the reward money he got, he could fund enterprise, he could fund building his town up and making it the utopia he dreamed of. While in check, he spoke to Tora the Fearless and managed to convince her to join Nak's cause. Although the cost of freeing her was steep, the Dust King's bounty easily paid it off. And with Tora at Nak's side, Nak knew that he had a significant ally on his side. With Crumplejohn selling up the last of what they had in their beginning settlement in Squin, they would have a decent chunk of cats going forward. Nak knew that they would need to start building beds, building infrastructure, so fabrics and building materials were a must. The town was slowly and surely coming along, but Nak knew the defences weren't good enough to stop the Swamp Raptors getting in, and Nak knew his people wouldn't be able to keep up the defence for much longer. Already a significant number of them lie lying on the floor, weakened, wounded. And that is where we find our heroes now. Hello my fellow Spuds and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. So, we've uh, once again had Swamp Raptors just completely raid all our stuff. We're having to kill them off in the process, but it's it's become painful to have to keep dealing with all this. It's just too many and it's constant. And I'm hoping these nests that are nearby to us will eventually just die out from us keep doing this. But we need to deal with this because all our people just are constantly dying. It's not going well and I need to change up the defenses. I think basically I'm going to scrap this gate completely. I was originally going to have it so that it leads into the water, but it the landscape is not suitable. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just scrap this bit of wall and have this wall go up to here, have that bit of wall go up to there, get rid of this bit and have this as kind of fertile land so we can grow swamp stuff. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is change the gates over here in this flat bit of land. I've sent quite a cool design where you have two walls going out like that, two walls going out like that, two towers on either side, and you have two gates. And that looks like a really, really good defense mech, uh, defense design. I've also seen that you can use these concrete walls as like shorter little walls, so they can be used as defense like around the outside. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a big wall going, having this little diamond pattern, and I'm going to have these concrete walls as kind of a second line of defense just so it's a bit lower down, so it's a bit easier to shoot. I think that's probably a good plan. I need to build uh, basically some beds. Our people are dying, so we need to build some proper beds, get that all set up. I believe it needs fabric, which is the only thing that might be a bit of a problem. Building materials and fabric, yeah. Okay, so we're going to need to set up our hemp production fairly promptly then. That many to begin with? Six? I should do for a little bit. On top of that, Nak has handed in the bounty for the Dust King. We've got Tora the Fearless now. She is pretty good. A melee attack and defense is amazing. A turret is also really good, which I'm surprised at. She's also a really good field medic, strength, toughness. It's all amazing. So really, really happy we've got her. We've also got Crumple John, who managed to get some fabric and some hemp just before we left. So we're in a good place. Once this wall is done, I'm going to close off the gate. We're going to just focus on getting our building materials back again. Uh, then I'm going to revamp our defenses, build the wall out to here. We're going to build a gate over here. That'll be nice. We're going to need to get a, another engineer's research book so that we can actually research uh, the large buildings, get some towers in here. Probably maybe an upgrade to the walls if we can. That'll be really, really good if we can. Once Nak is here, we can go to Black Desert City or something and scrap house and grab another engineer book or something. I think that's probably a good shout to do. Okay, that's good. Shrike, you go up to the way station now, grab the rest. We only need a tiny amount i think it's like two more building materials to finish off this wall but we're gonna need a lot more if we want to actually expand the wall out and do proper defenses here i think this is probably the best place because it is flat land the rest of where we are really isn't very flat welcome to the faction anyway cat instantly downed as soon as you get here uh we we desperately need these beds desperately desperately need these beds all right here we go shrike is here let's go grab some building materials run back keep doing our stuff and it'll all be fine It'll all be fine. Now that the mercenaries are back, it won't be too bad. I right, grab them. Is there anything else here? We could get some more fabric. Start doing that. That'd be nice. Uh, we need some little more electrical components. That's about all we need, isn't it? I think so. We're going to need to make a general storage to begin with, because we still don't have a general storage, and I really need one. Like there, just bang smack in the middle. That'll do. And Nak, I need you now to run up to the black desert city and the scrap house although you've got the mercenaries with you but you are the fastest fine run for the scrap house we'll just have to hope that uh the wall is finished before swamp raptors descend on us right so we need these electrical components uh we do have an electrical workbench but no one's actually doing anything with it do we have anyone who's not currently doing anything at all 
you burn are not so i'm gonna get you to make some electrical components and that'd be really good because then we can finally get this automated grain silo done and then we can actually get a little baker's done which is nice speaking of which i probably should get one of them done shouldn't i Stormhouse, maybe just to have a little baker's i think it'll be nice roleplay value to have something like that in here 16 building materials i will confirm for the time being how we will then pause construction because i do not want everyone dumping everything in there shrike is now there no 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 no. you don't seem to understand i need you to build them <laughs> i'm not letting you dump anything you are building it Shrike casually building the wall as a black dragon kenin retreats fast while crippled both his legs basically just about to fall off that's absolutely fine with me right oh he's down again <laughs> he just died oh, he's just downed that's fine uh you do have some swords on you i could technically take them Tora, do you want to go grab them? That might be quite good before uh, the wall is built. Oh, he's got some cats on him as well. Nice. Uh, what's your uniform looking like? Not great, but we'll take that for ourselves. Run back in before Shrike finishes it off. There we go. It's done. We have a fully built wall finally. Just before we're just about to collapse it again. <laughs> right, so let's get this wall done. We want it from the very outside if possible. There we go, like that. Uh, just make sure it looks decent. That will do. If we can build that, I think that's that's fine with me. Once we dismantle the rest of these walls, we should have enough, hopefully, to then build another gate out here, and then we can start work on the next bit of construction, which will be amazing. Once this wall is done, we'll probably start making a hemp farm here. I think that would be pretty good. Right, okay, Knack is just outside the scrap house. Let's get you in there, see if they've got any engineer books. I really hope they do. Please, please, please just have one. I don't think they do. Oh, are you serious? oh that's annoying they've got an ai core but i need an engineer book what am i gonna do we do have the mercenaries we could see if we can take on this workshop right okay knack i need you to go to here hopefully they've got an engineer's book in there and then we can go back actually there's a ruin right here apparently um should we go see what that ruin is let's go have a look all right that must be it here right have they got any guards or anything right they've got broken models Oh, automated grain silo is done. Excellent. Right, how many do we have then? I count five. There might be more. Okay, we might be able to get away with that. Okay, right. We're going to have to see if we can actually get in sneakily. I highly doubt we can. Uh, we do have a skeleton coming round. Right, stop sneaking and shoot that guy. Because if we can get one of these back with us, we can potentially recruit them. And that's the exciting thing. If we can get one of these on one of the turrets, we've got a uh, crossbower who's never going to need food. Come on, Nat. Just take him out. There we go. Right, quickly loot him also got that weapon which does look pretty good actually uh we'll keep that on us just for the time being right repair him quickly it's probably worth the trip for this guy not 100 percent sure if it was but it's something right, can we pick him up there we go uh are we going to be able to get past them that's the question we've got one there we've got one there oh we've got two there okay christ i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're gonna get anywhere near this place honestly staying home yeah okay um trying to think is there anywhere else we could go right stop sneaking we're gonna go have a little scout see if we can find a ruin that's probably not protected we haven't really gone north of the De black desert so I'm, this looks like it's gonna be somewhere doesn't it a little tucked away in the mountains i'm sure there's gonna be something there let's go over to there we'll see if we can find anything there all right this is built excellent finally right let's get into deconstructing then deconstruct all this deconstruct this Right, and then I think what we'll do is build the wall out a little bit more. So like that, I think that'll do. And if we get someone on that, that would be amazing. We've got plenty of building materials to get that done. And now what we can do is we can actually start making some farms from the swampness that we've got. So where is it? We need a hemp farm. We'll start with a small one to begin with. Uh, place it fairly near to the wall. There we go. Uh, we're going to also want rice. Oh, duh, we haven't researched it. Beep, I need you to go dump some uh, rice weed in here. There we go. And then we can actually get someone started on research, which would be nice. Oh, hang on. Yeah, Nak has to say... It, I knew that was going to be something there. It just looked like it had to be something, didn't it? Right. Okay. That's, uh, let's have a little look. It looks like it might be another one guarded by security spiders. Okay. Can we pick the lock? You're not skilled enough. Okay, well, we're just going to smash it then, aren't we? <laughs> because that's what we've done before. We're just going to smash it. Uh, it's 49. Well, it's going to take Nack a while, so we'll just leave him to it. And then after that, we'll go and have a look and see what's inside. 
Right, we've got this automated grain silo then, which is exciting. Uh, you want to also auto haul to that? Might as well. There we go. And it is making straw flour. It's going to be like eight or ten wheat to make a single straw flour. Okay, well, before any of that, let's upgrade this then. Right, you get on that. That's a small wheat farm. Let's get you on that then. Green, you want to upgrade that? Uh, how much do we have in terms of cactus? Could we upgrade this one? We've got 44. That's loads. Yeah, upgrade that. Sure. We could actually upgrade it again to an extra large farm. That's exciting. Get that one done then, and we've got an extra large farm. And this wall is now complete. Huzzah. Right. That's, um, let's build a hemp farm then. Hemp farm, hemp farm, hemp farm. Do, 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 do. Here we go. A large hemp farm costs 30 hemp. We do not have 30 hemp. We should have 20 though. Let's build one like there. And then we can plan to build another one there. Another one there. Another one there. Uh, we're going to want to have some rice as well. But we can't do anything for that for the time being. What's going on? A green fruit farm. Oh, it won't actually work in swamp. It will barely work in arid. Oh, interesting. It probably works in vein best then, I guess. Or that sort of environment. Right, Knack has finally destroyed this. That's sneak. Let's see what's in here. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Uh, broken ones. They're not... What? Hello? Error. Master. 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 Oh, Jesus. Taxman visit on the way to outpost. Protect master. Defend master. Jesus, who the hell are you? Can we talk to them? Error. 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 Okay, well, uh... Just let me uh, loot this stuff, then I'll be on my way. I, I don't want any trouble. They don't seem to really be bothered by me, although they do, they're very interested in me. Oh, here we go. Ancient safe, ancient crate, ancient science book. That's not too bad. A book, that's all right. Uh, we'll pick the lock on that. I wonder if they're just going to follow me out of here. That's interesting. How strong are you? They're not that bad. That would be interesting. We could potentially lure them to one of the other ruins, get them to take on the robots, and then go. That might be a good plan. Right, okay, Naka's looted it. What do we get? Another one then. Skeleton shredder. But all your inorganic corpse disposal needs. Ooh. You can... Oh, okay. Is there any more to loot in this? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I think we've looted the whole place. There is a skeleton repair bed. We've got nine points of wear, so we might as well go fix ourselves up a little bit. They look like they're following us. Oh, God. Oh, I accidentally dropped that skeleton guy. Oh, and they're attacking him. I'm glad that they these guys are on our side. Christ, we could have been absolutely destroyed then. Okay, um, pick him up. Right, okay, we do have some encumbrance. And now the, the real test is whether they actually come out with us. Oh, my God, they do. And look at all of them. We've got a small army. <laughs> right, new plan. We need to go over here. Right, don't run too fast. We don't want them to be left behind. We're going to just take on everything with these things we get into trouble hopefully they'll uh, they'll just assist us god look at them all look at our robot army <laughs> that is incredible right i'm really hoping that uh, they'll be able to take on the the uh, other robot guards we can find an engineer's book because that would be immense if we could what's going on here oh it's pulling those ones i've oh, got it it gets they get pulled from miles away i right, attack that one quickly i right, get get around the side and then we we'll attack it from the back there we go get some get some crossbow practice in Right, okay, quickly loot it. Pick them, drop them. Okay, right. That's all done. Head to the Dendan workshop. No, where are you going? Okay, they're just running away. Don't know what they're doing. You attacking the skeleton sultans? Oh, you bloody idiots. They attack friendlies as well, then? Christ, it looks like they do. Okay, that's not very good. They're just... Are they running after... They're literally running after anything. That might be a problem. I'm hoping we've got enough now to take on that. We should do hopefully price is averted we can take all that out uh repair that one before he dies why are they going to what are they attacking they're attacking that thing skeleton sultan's thing do we do we go help do we take it out it is bleeding i might have some decent loot on it if we can get there it doesn't look like it's our enemy because they attacked so that's interesting it's like we can basically get use a get out of free jail card Attack anyone we want without any consequences. What have we got? Sailback pack. That is a huge pack, though. Fine. Well, let's try finally going and taking these guys out. Hopefully, we still got the capacity to do so after half of them seem to have just died or drifted off. I'm presuming there's probably a load dead over there somewhere uh, after they try to take out the skeleton sultans. But, eh, we tried. If we, if we can at least take out the rest of the 
the broken skeletons over here it'll all be worth it right okay that's run around i think maybe we go side to side with the building these guys will then be pulled off they don't seem to care <laughs> at all okay oh there we go they are coming around right go back go back okay here they come all right okay take them out come on i go on that use your crossbow don't shoot your friends there we go nice Oh, we got one friend down. Quickly go heal him. Quickly go heal. I want to take him down. One one hit to the stomach or something and he'll be good. There we go. One hit to the chest. Good. Okay. Are there any more? Okay. They're up here. Right. Quickly, guys. Friends. Come up. Oh, go help your brother while I uh, pick this lock. <laughs> I wish I'd got more guys over here now. We could have, like, bought, taken loads of these broken models back with us. Speaking of which, we need to check on our uh, prisoners, don't we? Thinking about it. As you approach, the ninja gives you a sullen stare. Hey there, pal. I want to talk about you. Tell me. I'll give you a little sake, yeah? Uh, me? Yeah, what's your story? Give me your hand. Takes your hand and bows his head, mumbling what sounds like little words of oath under his breath. Welcome to the team. I'll get you out of here and get you a stiff drink. Right, we've got Boozan. Let him out. There we go. Right, Boozan's out. Huzzah, we've got a Boozan. Yeah, we need to figure out what you're going to do now. I don't really know. Honestly. No, you know what, Boozan? Do you want to use that? We should probably build another well, actually, thinking about it. That'll do. And, uh, yeah, you can crack on and do that. This is ridiculous. Knack just lockpicking while all this fighting's going on. Oh, crap. Shoot him. Shoot him while he's there. There we go. <laughs> go back to picking the lock. <laughs> I love it how there's just one crippled crawling in from nowhere <laughs> coming to help. <laughs> They're probably going to be crawling in for miles around. I think when all these are died, we'll probably go back to our base and there'll still be just one crawling from the other side of the world coming to try and find its master. I think that's amazing. <laughs> Alright, huzzah, we did it. <gasps> and we actually got one. Oh, thank God for that. Right, um, we're going to need to figure out where to put all this stuff now because these power cores and these robotic components are actually really, really valuable. Huzzah, there we go. Right, that's that done. And how encumbered are we? 34, quite a lot. There should be some other stuff we can actually take, though. Okay, let's just walk through him. There we go. Thank you. Oh, God. Right, run, run back. Run back before he actually hits us. I need I need you all to follow me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, get out of the way. There we go. Attack him. Good. Thank God. All right, we've got some gears. They're not worth very much. I'm not going to bother with them. Uh, Anything else? We've got lock picking here. Let's pick these two. Oh, we've got specialist leg. We're going to have to move some stuff. There we go. Take the specialist leg. Uh, And then pick that lock. Oh my god, that's a lot of skeleton repair kits. Um, okay, I think I'll leave that. Let's cross the bridge now. Go see what's in these crates over here. Okay, pick that box. We're going to have to go through. There's uh, four boxes here to loot, and then there'll probably be some more on the other side. What have we got? Okay, some more of them. Uh, motor, gears, fuel pellets. No, don't need that. Don't need that. Here we go. Um, iron machete. <clears throat> It'd be nice if I could take that. There we go. Is there anything on the other side? There is stuff on the other side. Ooh, excellent. Oh my god, there's another engineer's one. Uh, quickly loot that. Oh, he's on the turret again. That's fine. He's he's attacking him. We can quickly do it. We'll be fine. Metal box. I'll just fuel. Okay, quickly pick this. Oh, he's fallen down. Excellent, that's fine. Okay. Anything in here? Just steel bars. Just cogs. I think that's everything now. Right, okay. Crisis averted. That's all go. Before they all get back up again, that's run. Um, how fast can we run, actually, Nack? You're at 51 capacity. You can run 50 miles an hour. You do have a small army with you, though, so that's fine. Um, we're going to want to run this way, I'm guessing. Come on, then, Nack. Run to there. Oh, as well, we've actually done up our wheat field. Right, so we've got wheat field medium. Excellent. That is now wheat field medium. Do we have another wheat field? I thought we'd made three. We do. Okay, good. It needs water. Oh, green. Uh, I need you to use that then, I guess. You can also be on that. There we go. Just get that sorted. Excellent stuff. So we've got we've got a significant amount of uh, wheat growing, which is nice. Cactus is doing all right. We've got 24 in there. Excellent. It's an extra large farm, so that's amazing. Can we make a couple more? Yes, we could. Green fruit would be nice. How many do we need? We need 10. I think we might need to... But the crop yield is awful. I think we're going to wait till we have to get to like hydroponics to get that. Uh, cotton... I'm just thinking cotton. we could use hemp for hashish and we can use cotton to actually... Oh no, cotton's awful. Cotton's 10% as well. Oh, okay, it's going to have to be hemp. Hemp's at least 50%, I believe, when it's um, not in swamp. Yeah. Okay, so hemp's just significantly better all round then. 
fine okay that's uh that's unpause that get that built up as well that'd be nice then we can have a little uh bakers there as well right our first straw flower has been built excellent uh so we need that to make bread which is exciting but that means that we should have a decent amount of a uh, wheat being farmed then okay uh we could leave it wait for it to be a large i guess uh we'll see how it goes where is knack still at skinner's roam we're doing all right we are nearly back at the outpost we still have quite a lot of them and we'll chuck this guy into our prisoner cage we'll see if we can recruit him and that's good um but we've got the robotics kit and the power cores and stuff so we could start doing robotics at some point that's really good we've got them spare which is excellent we've got two engineers research which is great we've got six ancient signs which was amazing and a couple of decent weapons so i think that was a pretty good loot trip to be honest and we've still got our little small army of robots that i don't know what we're gonna do with but we could probably use them for something i guess right okay so we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do we're gonna have to make a hole in the fence temporarily uh so that we can actually get in um i need you to go over there then i guess right, okay that's rice weed farming so that's plant some rice weed down then uh we've only got enough for a mm, oh we don't have enough for a medium i'm going enough for a small i'll have to do then that one there and can we build a second one there there we go excellent okay beat you're on charge of building that then Dimmac, you can use that as well then Dimmac, i thought you were on the hemp am i imagining that i thought i i thought i put you on hemp maybe i didn't maybe i'm being an idiot um although it's nearly grown excitingly uh we're gonna need some hemp storage somewhere then i guess uh hemp 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 here we go hemp thanks back in the middle nice excellent stuff okay well we, we've got rice we've got hemp everything's going well everything's going really well actually uh we've also got our we've got loads of leather being made up uh soon we'll have our loom hopefully by next episode when we've got all that done i really want to start doing this stuff what do we need to make eagle crosses crossbow bolts and steel bars and to make crossbow parts spring steel and hinge okay to make uh spring steel we need raw iron and raw copper hinge what do we need just iron plates okay repeat that cue then i guess uh we can do that um okay we need someone to do that then don't we you want to do that there you go cat you've got you've got a new mission which is to make some crossbow stuff once we've got some of them we just need to make some steel bars and we're good so can we make some steel bars steel refinery here we go 20 iron plates let's chuck that down there i guess boom we should have plenty of iron plates yeah there we go these guys should be on that that should be pr built pretty quickly we'll get someone on steel production and then we can actually start making some uh desert uh some eagle crosses <laughs> and that can be another way of actually getting all our stuff done we've also got this robotics bench what could we make out of this we need a skeleton muscle and a motor to make robotic components skeleton repair kit we need steel bars and robotic components skeleton muscle steel bars and a press Press is just iron plates. Okay, so press, skeleton muscle, motor, robotic components, skeleton repair kits. Repeat the queue. Okay, that's decent. And we need someone to be on that. So, uh, Boozan, you want to be on top of that? Get that sorted. And then we can actually have some, uh, some robotic repair kits actually just being produced, which is amazing. Uh, the next step will be obviously hemp, but we need, we need some decent hemp farms where we can actually get that production set up. I think at that point we're good. Knack, are you here yet, actually? You are here. What am I doing? I need to let you in, don't I? We could just trap ourselves in again, I guess. Sure, I mean, why not? And then um, I think I'll end the episode there. We'll build up our building component -ness. And then next episode, we will work on the defences like I was planning on doing, but couldn't. Because, yeah, of everything. So come on, everyone get in. Then we're going to build some walls. Uh, defensive walls, just for the time being. Confirm... There we go. And then we just need someone to actually build it. Ruka, you want to um, get on that? Um, Knack, while you're in here, let's put um, Protect Master. Don't attack the nomads. Oh, the poor nomads. They've been here this whole time. Those poor goats. Oh, you monsters. Oh, balls. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot about them. Um, let's talk to the broken model. As you reach to touch the skeleton, its arms directly jump to life and rapid beeps come from its chest. And the waving of its arms and weapons mean you can't get close. Maybe you should disarm it first. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Sad Neil, you want to disarm it? There we go. Okay, now can we talk to it? Okay, we'll talk to it a bit later. Okay, this is a weird massacre. Knack, I need you to pick him up. 
pick him up and we're going to try and chuck him in a prisoner cage. <laughs> we're going to see if we can recruit these guys. Uh, who else is here? Green, you want to do the same? Quickly chuck them in the cages. We're going to set Luck Luck 3. I'll cut them down. Um, I don't think you will. Okay, um, Knack, I need you to repair them then so they don't die. He's starving, getting a weapon. Um, get him. <laughs> he just picked up a weapon and ran away. Just get him. Oh, he's he's got a helmet now. He's got he's got a, he's got a, he's got a helmet. Crumple John, get him. Get him, Crumple John. Oh, he's too sneaky. Don't know what he's doing, but he's so sneaky. Um, okay, I don't think he's gonna die. Right, repair that guy. Sad Neil. Um, I need you to pick up another one. The goats seem to have won this fight. I don't understand how, but they seem to have. Um, well, I think we're going to need more cages. <laughs> I think we're going to need more cages. There we go. Um, on that note, I'm going to call it a day there, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've liked what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my patrons. Seth, Pet, Overlord, Sarah, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, DeBlar, Gry, Kalara, Daniel, Damer, Len, Wolf, AJ, Andrew, Mitch, MVH, Nexus, Lord, Nord, T, Chaos, Toolman, Blue Eris, Charlotte, and Wimit Faber. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are amazing. So just thank you so much for supporting me. It really means the world to me. Yeah, we've got all these weird skeletons. We can talk to them. This skeleton seems silent. Its eyes are dim. It shows no signs of recognition. You hear a buzz, click, and a whir, and a beep before a panel seamlessly opens on its chest, revealing a screen with three options. Common English. Language selected. Enter access code. Oh, okay. That's bizarre. We can have a few more uh, prisons up and running before next episode. So I'm going to basically take all these skeletons. It looks like the goats are in recovery. That's fine. Where are all the other skeletons? Have they just run off or disappeared? I don't understand where they've all run off to. Because there were a lot more skeletons and they all seem to have just disappeared. Um, I'm probably going to have to look out for them and chuck them in as many as I'm going to have to chuck as many as possible into the uh, prisoner cage, I think. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And yeah, next episode, we're going to focus on defenses like I was going to this episode. And we are going to do as much as we can to get up and secure, get some infrastructure done so that we are then ready and prepped to take on some much bigger enemies. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.